Minnesota teenager has a lot to be thankful for this holiday season. She survived an extremely rare disease, and she's making sure to thank the person who saved her life. Carol Evans Boyd Hooper was there for the special reunion, all new tonight. We lived here for a good two months. Before the turkey and mashed potatoes. She didn't leave uh, her room for 17 days. The Beal family stopped by U of M Masonic Children's Hospital to give thanks. Thanks that 16-year-old Dara Beal is alive to see this day. I'm for you. I love you. Or any day. I started getting sick. Days after this August photo was taken, Dara went from flu-like symptoms to worse. Because I couldn't even get out of bed where I was like throwing up blood because there was nothing left to throw up. Within hours, the Moose Lake High School junior lay in a coma diagnosed with Wilson's disease, a rare genetic disorder that had already destroyed her liver. Dara was on life support when the hospital took a cast of her hand. It was a way for us to hold her hand Hold her hand if she was gone. Dara urgently needed a liver transplant. Her dad snapped this photo he believes was her donor liver arriving. When it took her to the operating room, I thought that the chances of coming out of the operating room was quite less than 10%. Together, surgeon Srinath Chinakatla, Dara, and her organ donor <laughs> beat the odds. Three months of recovery documented in Facebook photos brought Dara to Thanksgiving week. I'm thankful that you saved my life. <laughs> We're very thankful because we have our baby girl back. She's got a complete cure and uh, I anticipate that her lifespan will be maybe 100 years, I think. <laughs> Dara's 16th Thanksgiving will be extra sweet. Happy <laughs> Boyd Hoopert, Carol Evan News. Thank you. Minneapolis.